All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at shapes and how to create new shapes out of, out of a combination of shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a rectangle here, and let's make it red. And I'm just going to make a, a basic rectangle. But there are things we can do with what we call paths and combining and, and uh, making unions and differences and intersections of paths. I'm going to talk about paths a little bit more in another video, but this will give us a, a really a sort of a head start on how to use paths to make new shapes. So let's say, for example, I took this rectangle and I put another rectangle right there. And if I were back in selection mode, which is our arrow here, and I selected this one first, and then with my shift key, I then selected the bigger rectangle, I can say path difference. And what happens is now I've got a whole new shape made out of one rectangle whose corner was taken out by another rectangle. You can even take a circle. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Go back to selection mode. My circle is selected. I hold my shift key down and select my bigger object. And I say path difference. And now I've got this shape. So it doesn't really mean anything at this point, but know that this is now a, a sort of a brand new shape that has been created out of the other two. So you can see how you can really create any shape you want based out of other shapes. Let me do one more. And this time I'm going to take this shape, go back to selection mode, click on this. And instead of choosing difference, I'm going to choose union. And what that means is now the two have been, have been combined to create this new shape. So that's a very simple, quick explanation of how to use these different, um, these different operations to create new shapes.